Well, hello again to another episode. And we're going to continue where we left off. And, uh, sorry about that. Continue where we left off. And looking at the Leagues of Vatan uh, Codex. society. Traditional as they are, the kin hold their hold true to core so societal structures and ideals no matter which kindred or league they belong to. The leagues of Vatan, the kindreds and the guilds from the foundations upon which the kin built and also the venerable institutions whose survival they fight to ensure. Excuse me. Kin and kindred. The familiar bond of the kindred remain with kin and iron kin, whether they live and work within their holds or roam the stars as warriors, merchants, miners, or courageous. Hern, Hernkin Rangers. There is a shred, un, excuse me, there is a shard understanding between, let me try it again. There is a shared understanding between members of the kindred that goes deep, deeper than words. It is a commonality of thought and action that bind their armies tight and can appear to outs appear to outsiders like some of some form of low level telepathy every kindred has his own name chosen when it was founded Some including Scalify kindred, the kindred of Narun or Vikats kin are named of the ancestor created with their establishment. Others are named after a uh, defined or defining feature of their whole world such as the kindred of echo dark the thousand stars kindred or the iron canyon kindred oddly basic names are used by some like Kindred 6 or Kindred 11D, while others boast names that speak their essential nature, such as the Star Delver Kindred or the Kindred of Orc slay Slayers. The kin are also known to melge these forms. <coughs> mingle these forms, producing names such as Yotos, Black Pillar Kindred, or the Kindred Stoic of 
Nig or Night Golf. Others than other than its people, the heart of every kindred lies in its four pillars. The four the first is the hearth the fire that burns at the hearth of the hold echoing the times when all kin sailed at star sailed the stars abroad vast generation <coughs> excuse me <coughs> generation ships the hearth is the blazing reactor that powers the hold the defense the holds defenses and sustains light and life its fires are said to burn with the brightest oh within the breast of all the all its kin only extinguished if every last member of a kindred fall the second pillar is forged wherein the kindred craft the weapons equipment tools vehicles and technology required to sustain them a planet-based hold the forge may be a convenient if vast industrial workshop but in others it must take the form of a huge factory vessel a hollowed out industrial asteroid or a gra grav grav anchored factory station the three pillars is the fane tends to lie sir the third pillar is the fane tend tended by the lying ancestor sorry living ancestor from the fame fame flow the wisdom of the votan for it is here that the Grimyar interface with their ancestor cores. The final pillar is Crucible, whose genomic cloning technology ensures the kindred continue and whose ancestor sorry, whose ancient device are defended by the Osworn orders of the Empire. Every kindred governs its itself from huge spherical chambers known as the Spaker Odin. Here the hearth speaker gathers a ruler continuing to guildmaster, senior officer of the military, Kinhost, Kinhost, and wise and cunning Gr uh, Grimrar. For all these final bonds, the members of the hearth speak are much given to strident debate and abstain <coughs> excuse me Obstinacy. Obstinacy. Kin are slow to change their minds, 
when one believes firmly that he or she knows what is best for the kindred, they can be remarkably stiff-necked. Moreover, all are kindly cautious that the ancestors are watching, though voices are often raised and debates may last for days. The hearth speak seems like seems little of a politicking politicking or self interested maneuvering that typifies many species political er arena the kin might be hard headed but they are also always earnest and honest in their desire to guide their kindred well. The guilds. Guilds spread through kind, kin society like veins of oars through bedrock. They are un united bodies made up of all these kin who perform a particular role or provide a particular service within a regime of kin space. Every guild is ruled over by its guildmaster who sets standards for guild accreditation, except levels of workmanship and the tile tithes, tithe, tithes their members lie, levy. <clears throat> the most prominent guildmaster also attend the hearth speak to give voice to civilian kin. In theory, the guilds exist exist apart from kindred affiliations. They are meant to be a means by which their competition is maintained across kin space without kindred loyalties. Carried undue weight in practice, smaller guilds rarely extend their influence beyond a single hold or <coughs> excuse me kindred moreover guilds affiliation is a voluntary step and not all kindred take guild members look as Askance to freelancers who, while freelancers in turn despair at those who they those see, so despair at those they see as hide bound guildsmen whose hard guilds do reach across multiple kindreds. There is no guarantee another enterprising group of kin won't decide to set up the uh, rival guild. <coughs> to punch that Oh, and where was I? 
Oh, excuse me. Um, competition can be heated bet between such bodies. Other races have been caught in the crossfire as competing guilds sponsor oath band expeditions into rich systems caring far more about beating their rivals to the punch than about luckless civility already inhibited contested worlds despite their faction na fracturous nature guilds are inevitably to kin inevitable to kin society they smooth trade and tradition transit between kindred they provide organizing administration and support through the leagues from star mining and gravita gravatic fracking, fracting to military supply chain void craft repair and probation and preparation of food and drink the con construction of homes and holds and every other aspect of kin manufa kin manufacture and distribute it all functions better than to the guilds contemption at high standards. The Leagues. The first League of Votan, formed by kindred in direct possession of ancestor cores, the Leagues were initially military al alliances intended to ensure the precious Votan were protected and sprang naturally out of the long mar march mining fields that settled the galactic core. Soon enough, the leagues became mutually beneficial allied bodies compared to star spanning nations each league possesses sole claim to the ancient her heraldal heraldic colors and logos of one of the long march mining fields Every kindred that belongs to a league is thus entitled to display their schemes and sigils in whatever fashion they see fit, providing it is suitable, respectful, or over time the territory claimed by these leagues without the galactic core have become relatively set while prevailing cultures specialisms and outlooks have come to promin prominence within their member kindreds They may, the many kindred of the great Thorin League, for example, tend towards the core kin values of trade and prospecting and are known 
and respected for being especially mercenary. Those of the Trans-Hyperion Alliance are re renowned as explorers and voyagers of the pe po for they possess an almost puritanical drive to enrich the Vatamon as much as possible, whether by discovering or military conquest. The Cronus hegemony and Grendel dominance, dominance are overly warlike with the kindred of the Cronus hegemony particularly notorious for their mechanized onslaught and apparent willingness to declare a grudge at least provocation at a at the least provocation. The jaunt Idine combined are reward renowned for their aircraft <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> for their craftsmanship and forging the Urani Surter regulated regulates have a relationship for incredible st stoicism and self -rela reliance and gulio gulo industrial complex are unmatched in the fields of void mining and terraforming and no league boasts greater or more indomitable fortific fortifications than the kindred of the Typhon Strikes Protectorate. The, these are but some of the many leagues of Votan scattered through the galactic core every even the kin no longer know the full extent or composition of their alliance for while it is uncommon due to their conservative nature it is not unheard of for kindreds to leave one league in order to join another in addition, some leagues have declared in sorry declined in power and importance until they fragmented, while others have been annihilated wholesale by war or tragedy or have been cut off by the emergent warp storms of Great Rift. Other leagues have been newly founded, sometimes in far more remote territories, or else have been reformed in name by those who wish to honor some ancient league believes long lost. Origins and adaptations. It is possible that the ancient core retain records of all kin history since their earliest days. If such information survives, however, it is likely buried beyond buried beyond recovery. According accordingly, even the 
parentally. Parentality th throughout the practical kin have been forced to accept that after a certain point their ancestor history blur into myth. <coughs> Leagues of Votan are name in, named in honor of Votan itself who is also known variously as the primal ancestor, the gilded one, or the stone mind, among others. In some kin myths, Votan was not one being but many, and is sometimes depicted as a group of gleaming golem, gold figures or a wheel of grieve graven storm faces or graven stone faces in other myths Votan fashioned the first crucible then raised the kin up and sent them sailing into the dark void before oceans of fire and flesh r rose to swallow them. Some misspeak of Votan as eldest and wisest of the first ancestors, themselves shadowy presence ill-defined and shown in many different forms. Both humanoids and otherwise were they where they are depicted at all. With typical pragmatism I can accept that their myths are too contradictory. Al allegorical and suspect to be cited as possessing a definite base. In fact, none of these troubled them overly stepped steeped as they are in tradition and dour realism the kin feel less need and humans do don the armor of faith they are not frightened by the inexplicable instead they accept reality as they see it to be if they are matters in their ancient past of which they have no understanding unless those matters suddenly become relevant to their presence the kin sets them aside of course many groups Grimnir continue to interfere with the ancestor cores in the hopes of asking the right questions to unlock portions of their ancient history. Most do this more out of curiosity and a desire to complete completeness. However, rather than being motivated by some exist existential need for all this, there are certain 
articles of lost history that the kin deem indisputable fact. They call these the first truce. It is a truth. It is, excuse me, it is a first truth that their earliest ancestors departed the home world along certain pre-imperial terra millennia ago a broad fleet of generation ships it is a first truth that the kin were a cloned people from the beginning and that the iron kin have been with them since those early days it is first truth also that the ancestors of the kin set out as miners, prospectors, and void dredgers, charged with exploring the riches of the heavens. <coughs> kin myth blind blinds into sorry blends into recorded history around the time their long march fleets were approaching the galactic core why they did not return to the heartland or humanity is unclear from the fact that so many kin fleets pledged into the galactic core within a period of only a few centuries, it might be inferred that a deliver, deliberate choice was made. It is, it is during this period that, at the least reference, of the first ancestors can be found. <coughs> Other blurring with, often blurring with, or tran transitioning into mentions of ancestor cores. These are themselves also referred to collectively as the Vatan, with the kin implying the two terms in interchangeably. The first ancestors are cited here as agents of change and held responsible for the majority of the stable mutations collectively known as clone cyanites the run through the kin geno pool the pool appears to have been broad deep and varied from the first putting the lie to simplest nations of a clone race all being literally identical the votan are th through thought to have hardened the kin both physically and spiritually some accounts claim this was in response to a perceived threat others that it was done it done to really ready the kin for inhabiting their harsh new homes in the galactic core <coughs> In practical terms, the 
introduction of the clone Sykens gave the kin denser musculature, tougher bones, structures, higher red and white cell con counts, exceptional core strength, and formidable physical resistance, more es esoteric More esoteric, but no less evident are the ch changes working on the kin spirit, which causes their souls. Excuse me. To share for or to sh to shine far more d dimly amidst the tides of the warp than those of humans. The kin evidence no uncontrolled psychic mutation and only those with the appropriate psycho psychoactive clonestein can activate the so-called barrier tech that allows psychically active kin to interact with the amphirian. It is rare indeed that the kin fall victim to physical mutation D demonic possession or the temptations of chaos hostile physical abilities struggle to find per purchase upon them in it has been struck suggested by some outside observers that this very Hardened, hardening of spirit led the kin to become even more obstinate and conservative in character. If this is so, there is just one side to the metaphysical feedback loop that has benefited their race greatly across the millennia. Beyond these bene benefits, there are many clone skin skins that impart useful physical abilities upon kin who possess them f from enhanced reaction times and vision that registers inf infrared <clears throat> and other ener energetic spectra to limited resistance to extreme t extremes of temperature, gravity, or strains of cosmic radiation. The list goes on. A clone skin undiably aid the kin in yeah, enduring the extreme environment of the galactic core. Many clone skin or skin manifest physically, whether it be unusually colored eyes or skin. <coughs> Craggy sub subdermal layers, chemical body odors, or various other giveaways 
to humanity, such physical abnormalities would surely be cause for prejudice and mistreatment to the kin they are rather badged badges of value valuable ability either bequeathed by the ineffectible ancestor core or econo encouraged by the clones guild during gestation Obscured league, obscured, landed, Le uh, obscured leg end gives way entirely to historical records during the following centuries as scattered kindred fleets shall settled new worlds, established trade routes, and became the first leagues of Votan. Daring the Immer Daring the Immaturium the kin are able to exploit warp space in a way few other people would risk. Thanks to their hardened souls and their reliable protections off offered by their technologies, even those kin who carry the psychoactive clone stein skines are not literally psychers in the true sense of the word, like a shuttered, lant shuttered lantern whose aperture has been opened a little wider. The souls of these psychoactive kin shine just brightly enough to mess with ward tech such as ancestral ward st staves and crests these devices come to life at their touch emit a soft herm of power and glimmering the color the cold watchlight. It is through the carefully of careful use of barrier tech devised that the embryer manipulate the emerging of the warp to produce manifestations similar to those conjured by the true psychers. <coughs> the kin say that the void is in their veins, but this, but, sorry, by this they mean that they have been starfarers since their earliest days and considered themselves pre eminent eminence in that field. Their void craft tend towards enormous size and reducible b build. Sorry, redoubled build. With even smaller vessels such as the bastion or stronghold class mining vessel matching most races Crusaders from amongst armored bulk, shielding and firepower when navigating real space, they employ, employ 
L-chromatic scoops of power, hydrogen ramjets, that the, while not the swiftest means of propulsion, are typically ar arranged in such clever profusions as to rem render kin void ships balectic despite their huge size. When it comes to warp travel, the kin are equally steady in their approach. They use warp drives and geller sorry, gel geller ramparts to superior design and really reliably to anything humanity understands. Each craft is commanded by a void master, a captain skilled in every aspect of spacefaring and often augmentally augmentically enough to aid them in their duties. Each is supported by ironkin wayfinders who accelerate log logic cores enable them to cogitate problem pass probable pass through the madness of warp space without rising psychic interactions with sus with support from their bridge crew, these species specialists guide their craft in a ser series of pledges. These are short, controllable warp jumps during which the kin may take the time to harvest energetic energistic sicken from within the immaterium e or even board warp born skull or space space hulks for empirical slaves or empiric salvage traveling in plunges takes longer than vast warp jumps made by humanity or risky sprints of the Tau slipstream module, but it ensures the kin arrive where they were, where and when they intended almost every time. <coughs> Okay, I think that's going to be good enough for today. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Is the right button? Yeah. Give you a round of applause. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with your friends. And I uh, hope to see you in the next one.